ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the fourth day of January. And a warming trend begins today. That's the good news we have. Let's go to some Skycam shots early this morning from around the great state of Alabama coming from the ABC 3340 Skycam Network. There's a look at downtown Clanton from our Skycam down in Chilton County. It's cold, well below freezing, but not as cold as the past couple of mornings. There's a look at the lights of the city of Gadsden up in Etowah County in northeast Alabama. And from downtown Birmingham, we're looking north from the top of the Daniel Building. The sky mostly cleared this morning. Our upper-level trough is out. The flow has gone zonal, and that certainly bodes well for a warming trend in the days ahead. Here's a look at the uh, surface chart this morning, and the surface high is now off to the east. Uh, and uh, that means we'll see a southerly wind today. And after a cold start this morning, we're expecting highs up in the uh, low 50s today. A good chance we'll see upper 50s tomorrow and 60s. How about that on Sunday? And look at that storm coming into the Pacific coast. That thing is going to be an amazing storm uh, in terms of the wind and the rain and the mountain snow out there. Uh, in fact, here's a look at the QPF chart. And again, this is suggesting for the Sierra Nevadas over 10 feet of snow. And along the coast, rainfall amounts of 6 to 10 inches all the way from San Diego north to uh, uh, Portland and ultimately Seattle. That's going to be amazing. Uh, J.B. Elliott posted a public zone forecast for Truckee, California on the blog. You ought to check that thing out. You talk about some wild weather. And then, of course, for the uh, Rockies, there'll be some good snows out there as well. And as that thing uh, moves on in here, we'll be looking at the possibility of Perhaps some rough storms early next week. This is the uh, day four convective outlook, and day four is Monday. And that suggests a risk of severe weather from uh, Houston almost up to St. Louis, including places like Dallas, Tulsa, and Shreveport and Little Rock. And uh, beyond that, a little model madness about how that evolves moving in here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS. Uh, speaking of model madness, uh, this is the 06Z run, valid at 12 noon today. This is about 18,000 feet off the ground at 500 millibars. And again, the, the flow has gone zonal. Uh, so we'll start to warm up today down below that. There's the surface chart. The surface high at midday today should be near Columbia, South Carolina. So the weather should be mostly sunny and a little warmer tomorrow. We'll call it partly sunny. The weather stays dry. Uh, chance of showers in that uh, warm air advection zone there from near Texarkana to Chicago. How about the warm-up for Chicago and Detroit and Cleveland? A big thaw going on there temporarily. And again, the weather wild and wet and snowy in the uh, west. Sunday, it's the same deal. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny. We'll get up into the 60s. Uh, weather stays awfully crazy in the west in California and uh, mild for the Midwest for now. And all of the showers will likely be north of here. Now, here's Monday of next week. There's our trough out west. Below that, a lee low beginning to form uh, over the plains of Colorado. And that looks like a really nice snowstorm there for the uh, ski resort areas. If you're a snow skier fan, that looks great for the uh, mountains of Colorado and Wyoming and New Mexico and Arizona. And again, Monday, I guess there could be a shower in spots, but uh, it's certainly not going to be a big rain event there Monday. I think most of the day will be dry. Tuesday, the trough uh, comes on out across the Plain States. Below that, the primary surface low is up there near Duluth, Minnesota, with your front down through Chicago and Dallas-Fort Worth. And this run a little faster will go to midnight Tuesday night. It's faster and it's intense again, and we have seen some pretty... Well, I, I say really there was one model that was an outlier yesterday, one run of this model that did not show this strong negative tilt trough, but it's back on the board. And at midnight Tuesday night, here comes your band of showers and storms. And the heavier rainfall totals are back. That's suggesting about one inch of rain with this thing and maybe some strong storms. Uh, I'm not so sure it comes through that quick. It might be Wednesday before that gets here, but somewhere in that Tuesday night and Wednesday time frame, the potential for 
up to one inch of rain, and we'll sure take that. Severe weather, I don't know. You know, again, it's hard to get really quality, unstable air up in here. Capes over a thousand. I don't know. We'll watch that, but I'd say it's pretty unlikely. And then Wednesday at midday, the model has the rain off to the east. And again, this might be a little fast. Uh, we'll kind of leave in a good chance of rain and storms for now on Wednesday, and we'll adjust that later if need be. And then Thursday of next week, the uh, uh, the weather is dry and, and really uh, not too cold there. Temperatures should be uh, at or maybe a tad above normal. There's no Arctic air behind that thing. All right, everybody wants to look at January 13th. What's the GFS going to do with this thing? Once again, it's got a, a pretty good-looking uh, setup there for some type of weather event. Let's look at the surface, and this run shows a primarily a rain event, and you're going to see every run's going to look different. But the, the important thing is that the fact that there's some good consistency there. For days now, the GFS is depicting a significant storm system on the 13th or the 14th. Whether it's rain, whether it's snow, we don't know yet. No, nobody knows that, and you're going to see more fluctuations, obviously, in the specifics on this. And on the 14th, it's got the thing out of here. We also note the European there on the 14th does show a nice nice trough off to the west. So uh, no doubt something is up around the 13th to the 14th, but uh, we just don't know the specifics yet. All we can do is say stay tuned. And then on the 19th, there comes another good-looking uh, trough rotating in here, and that suggests a big rain event, and that would suggest a big snow for Little Rock and St. Louis and maybe Dallas-Fort Worth and Tulsa. But again, that's uh, obviously... A little science fiction at this point. You know we're just peaking. That's it for the morning weather extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Friday, and God bless.